this is the uh, health sector uh, that we're looking at uh, right now. Uh, looking to add a, a new company to the portfolio. And we had a change on the uh, best performing uh, portfolio uh, since the previous video. Uh, one of the companies uh, in the industrial sector, TRN, um, is, uh, has uh, changed the M score, uh, the management score. And so Alpha Up, uh, which was the uh, second best performing for portfolio, is now the first. Uh, and so we made that quick change. Um, not a huge, huge difference. Um, as you can see here, HI has replaced uh, TRN and that M score div portfolio, which, uh, which made a difference in the numbers. And so now we're looking at uh, Alpha Up. Um, which is a portfolio that um, I expect to do well um, when the market is, is, uh, is doing well. And, uh, and so, as usual, the health sector is all the way down here at the bottom. Um, and so we're looking at uh, this new company. Um, Pfizer is the MVP, almost, barely. Um, let's see. Sort this. Yeah, just just barely. Uh, it, it's really kind of spread out. Um, but either way, um, Gilead, the uh, sector leading performer. Um, X-ray is what the portfolio is calling for, and Pfizer is the uh, is the MVP leader, but barely. So, going to look at these um, right away. Uh, X-ray is uh, interesting. Um, because it's different than uh, the other uh, companies, and it's it's a new uh, company in our basket of stocks. So I think it'll be really cool to kind of dig into uh, the company and see what it's about. Um, it is uh, headquartered in the U.S. despite its name, um, and it is uh, primarily dental uh, tools and uh, accessories and that sort of thing. So let's take a quick look at the performance five year one year and year to date as you can see it's all red down almost 50 percent so that's not great pfizer down almost 18 15 for the year and slightly up for year to date gilead uh, way up over the five year up over the one year and slightly down year to date so um right away there we see that gilead is kind of uh, coming out the winter, taking a quick look at financials, um, not doing a full financial analysis on this one, just taking a look at the numbers. And we can see that uh, just across the board, um, uh, this X-ray has uh, been negative uh, net income. So that's not good. Um, the revenue isn't terrible. It looks like it, it has improved just a tiny bit. You see the big jump in 2021. Um, and then we see sort of a, a falling off in 22 and 23. It uh, looks like it's on track to either beat or, or meet 2023 numbers. So uh, not terrible, but, uh, you know, not, not making a profit. Uh, Pfizer, um, again, decent, uh, decent revenue. Um, I think the big difference between these numbers um, is that uh, Pfizer spun off a portion of its, uh, its business uh, into organized. It's not going to have the same revenue that it did uh, in previous years. Uh, net income, as you can see, though, is currently way down. Um, and again, this has a lot to do with the, the spinoff, um, but uh, still still negative, so not great. Uh, Gilead, on, on the other hand, as you can see, um, yeah, really good numbers as far as uh, net profit. Um, and even the revenue, uh, you see, has, has been growing. So, Right now, it, it looks like uh, Gilead uh, is definitely uh, the better performer, uh, and that's that's reflected uh, in these numbers as well. 
wanted to take a quick look. Take a quick look at the uh, comparison here. All right, so right away you can see uh, the current price, uh, Gilead is much, uh, much higher price uh, and dividend, uh, not as large. X-ray, uh, the smallest though, uh, which is surprising because being that the stock price is down 50%, expect the dividend uh, to be much higher. Um, you kind of see the, the roughly uh, one year one and a half year uh, price difference here. Pfizer down, Gilead down, but not as bad. And X-ray is, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Gilead is actually up. And then X-ray is way down. And then the 2014, 10-year uh, difference. Again, Gilead up, Pfizer way up, uh, X-ray down. Net profit, again, we kind of saw that already. Gilead beats everyone out there. Return on assets, again, Gilead. Uh, Gilead has way more cash on hand. And Gilead and Pfizer are, are, are roughly in the same industry. Um, so I think that's the direct comparison for sure. And a lot more cash on hand. Uh, more cash, less debt than Pfizer. Um, all these guys are about, except for X-ray, of course, uh, about uh, in the same place as far as where the, the price is historically. Uh, Gilead is a little further up. Um, better alpha. Um, up move is about the same. Down move, same thing. Uh, looks like um, Pfizer has the better beta, but barely. Uh, same thing with the uh, one month return. And again, this is the previous three years, not including uh, this year. Gilead is the better volatility. And then we can see the score is literally the same um, for both Pfizer and Gilead. Um, and X-ray, is, of course, is, is higher. And it looks like it's going to be primarily this, this up move, which I, I think is uh, important to note because it looks like those, those up um, portfolios are, are near the top of the list in performance, the up, 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 up. So at least top five for sure. Um, but I, I don't think we can go wrong with Gilead. Um, again, pharmaceutical kind of up and down right now due to the uh, election. Um, but it's going to be a small percentage of the portfolio, uh, so I don't think it's going to to make a huge, huge difference. Um, especially because uh, the price is almost eighty dollars. I, I doubt we'll be able to get uh, very many shares anyway. So Gilead, it is.